Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about the new chapter of One Piece, which is on chapter 1131. This chapter right here was actually pretty cool. Nice to see Loki and all that, and we get to see another side of Luffy, that which you don't want to tick off of anything. And the ending of the chapter, I really hope it's okay, but we'll have to find out. So if anything else, let's go. We have to it, Luffy is actually happy that they're on Elbath right now, and Loki is like, hey man, listen to me. Listen when I'm talking to you, yada yada yada. And it looks like to me, like Luffy and Loki decides to talk talk about about some things a bit, you know? And we get to see Loki's bounty and it is 2.6 billion berries. And I'm like, oh wow, that's very huge. But I guess it's understandable, all things considered. We have to, Loki ask Luffy, hey, what do you think of my predicament right now? He says, well, it looks like you got caught and you're, you're captured, you know? And... We get to see Loki, who has bandages on, especially his eyes are being covered right now. He said, how shrewd are you to think of that? But you know, I've been, I, I've been trying to get out of here for six years, and I've been stuck here for a while. And he even talks about, he tells Luffy that he is the pride of Albaf's immense strength, and that because of these chains, I can't unleash my power. So it looks like to me, it's confirmed to know that Loki is a devil fruit eater, because without, because since he has sea stone prisms, chains on he can't use his power which means that he's weakened a bit but we have to it that like um <clears throat> that he wants to make luffy a deal he says like um i'll make a deal with you you're a pirate right if you get rid of my chains i'll wipe out any pirate crew you want and i'll make sure not to leave a trace sounds good right the key is somewhere in the village i can't force you myself but you know he talks about how they are in the lower lower levels of Albaf and that these animals are supposed to be your execution ground. They're supposed to be your executors eat you alive whatsoever. And Loki ends up talking about of how like, uh, what you call it, that these animals that they're in right now are supposed to be murderers or killers on you. So you got to watch out here and there. We have to it that we get to see some like um, subordinates possibly or little human people or something like that. Talking to Loki in different masks, you know, and then they end up talking about, hey, we didn't expect that one to show up. And then they end up talking about like red haired Shanks, which apparently Luffy's like, hey, you know, red haired Shanks said, yeah, what are you talking about? And Luffy actually asked him like, um, hey, you guys know Shanks? When did he, why did he come here? He goes like, oh, did he come? We're talking about that coward of a power pirate, right? This actually angers Luffy very much. He went into gear fourth and attacks Loki and warns him not to do that again. He goes like, yeah, well, you better watch yourself because I can't even move right now. You should even be glad that you haven't done that. Otherwise, I'll kill you right now. He says, well, don't tick me off by talking smack about Shanks, you know, and don't even joke about it. He Luffy therefore asked Loki, hey, why did Shanks all the way come out, come out all the way out here? No way, he was just running an errand. Is he still on Elba? And Loki's like, well, that's not something I can tell you. So, it looks like to me, Loki is being the trickster that Oda's actually doing right now. And if you know Loki, he does a lot of crazy things, if I remember correctly, when it comes to the media in Marvel or any other media. We all know Loki is a trickster, and he is the one who made Ragnarok come true. So... <clears throat> Whatever he's planning to do, it's going to be very insane. Other than that, we get to see Nami and Usopp and Zoro running running right now, along with like Sanji and the others trying to figure out what to do. They end up wondering about the Thousand Sunny, etc. And they even stole the ship. <laughs> and they're trying to go after it. Other than that, they are pretty much really mad and upset about this and that <clears throat> they have to look for a village somewhere and, if they, and that if they catch us, it's all over. We get to see... Um, we get to see Harujin and his other subordinate, I believe, which is like um, Stanson, which is a shipwright. We get to see that these guys are back in Elbaf and doing a lot of crazy stuff. Warland, Realm of the Dead, they're in. I don't know what they're doing there, but it looks like to me we get a little small recap about like... Um, <sighs> about some things here and there. Other than that, um, it looks like to me the new giant pirates led by Haru... Ha ha Haji, Hajirudin or something like that after Brogi and Dory have been, you know, possibly retired, but that's not true. 
other than that, um, they're at the season. Albat, we get to see Brooke, Frankie, Jimbe, and Lilith along with like um, Robin right now, and we get to see Robin getting a new haircut, which apparently is actually um, done by Brooke her himself, which is pretty much well done. He she gets the same old hairstyle back that she had two years ago. I don't know, or maybe when she was a a little kid. Other than that, the chapter ends up with like um. The, the remaining straw hat pirates with the with um, Dory and Brogy getting ready to land on Elbaf on Elbaf right now, but we also get to know some bad news about like um, Mr. Saul. Saul has fallen and he can't get up, and the chapter ends off there. So in this chapter, all I can really tell you is that Loki ends up talking with Luffy and trying to get him and trying to make a deal with him, and we get to know that he's a Devil Fruit user, which we don't really know what his powers are, but I'm pretty sure they're deadly, which is why he's been chained up pretty badly. Other than that, um, when Luffy and Shanks, I mean, when Luffy and Loki talk about Shanks, Loki ticked off Luffy by calling him a coward and then after that you know after much going on here and there trying to talk about some stuff Luffy tries to ask about Shanks but Loki refuses to answer because he has other plans that if you want answers you gotta do something for me <laughs> and then when it comes to like the thousand Sunny being stolen right now and let's see here um Nami, Rizoro, Usopp and Sanji are running are running are running like hell which I don't really know why but one thing was certain is that they're in trouble and as for Harujin, you know, the new pirate, new captain of the new warrior pirates whatsoever, new giant pirates, they are in the underworld or something like that. Don't know why, but looks looking forward to see what they're doing. As for Robin, she gets a haircut and she's about to like a meet Saul again, hopefully. But unfortunately, the way how the chapter ends off right now is that Saul is in possibly dang in possible danger moral danger who knows so until then people i'll see you guys in the next video so i'm alpha zero have a good day i'll see you guys next time all right peace out bye bye Toot,